the leave plan of room specialists has found that using our new 101 billion toy, it will be apparently perpetually before that try changes into a reality. On the remote possibility that it goes as arranged, the excursion to Proxima B will expect near 20 years. So, sensibly, it will be two or three years earlier before we can request, assuming there is certain life on that planet. The deepest questions about whether we are really alone in this universe persist. The James Webb Telescope has discovered a few incredibly humanesque things far away from Earth that lead us nearer to the answer. Our main goal for life beyond us has been uncontrolled throughout every human activity, such a lot that we have a critical number of media works and speculations concerning this matter. Our wonder about our spot and wretchedness in the universe has been reliable. It is saturated inside us to consistently search for a mate. Despite how similar we might be, we might draw increasingly nearer to the responses we genuinely need. How, anyway, are they really the answers we are looking for, or are they simply really upsetting? Join us as we dissect the most recent discoveries in the realm of systems and planets on the journey to find something we probably won't be prepared to see. Lights far away. Experts have found what could be the most significant discovery in history. Back in 2021, when the James Webb Space Telescope was planned to launch, an exceptionally interesting hypothetical request was raised about the capacities of our technology. The inquiry was whether, later on, our telescopes could identify artificial light on another planet, for instance, Proxima b, the closest exoplanet to Earth. Proxima b, around 4.25 light-years away, was identified as being perfectly locked with an incredibly long-lasting day side and night side, much like our moon. A hypothetical imaginative enhancement for Proxima b could move power and energy from the day side to the night side using photovoltaic cells that generate power from starlight. Subsequently, in a paper with Manus Vling as one of the researchers, it was shown that a gigantic convergence of the day side by solar panels could be associated with future telescopes. Since the JWST was also developed, it would permit us to expand our search for artificial lights on exoplanets like Proxima b. Now, the fact that the James Webb Space Telescope did exactly that in 2024, using its higher sensitivity and greater range of capabilities, is groundbreaking. The JWST might have found the lights we were searching for and may have flung us into another significant surge of human activity. Overall, we should delve into the universe of planets and exoplanets to figure out how this was even possible. James Webb's mission explores Proxima b. Since the beginning of written history, people have contemplated the possibility of the universe, what we are, where we come from, and where we go. These are regular yet surprisingly problematic questions that humankind has tried to answer. When we gained awareness in the era of tremendous technological advancement, one wonders whether we are any closer to understanding these questions. If you somehow manage to ask a philosopher, he could say we are currently at level zero of understanding ourselves in the universe. However, ask a space expert the same question, and watch him make the most of his energy as he rushes to tell you the latest discoveries people have made about the universe using their sophisticated gadgets. These instruments, though not widely considered by the general public, are clearly an impression of human activity itself. We now have the universe readily available, and it's time we push forward and bring the universe to us too. One such strategy for doing so was determined by scientists and space experts through the innovation we tackle. A specific creation of that innovation is now responsible for the new discovery of what might be light on another planet light years away. Yes, we're talking about the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is the creation born out of the traditions of human endeavors into space to address some ever-present questions. Are we alone? Who's out there? Where do we start and where do we end? This infrared space science device has already started looking for answers to these questions. Notwithstanding, at first, you could find yourself asking, what is Proxima b? Proxima Centauri b, or simply Proxima b, is sometimes referred to as Alpha Centauri se. It is a super-Earth exoplanet and orbits an M-type star. Super-Earths could baffle you, but don't worry, this explanation will resolve all your burning questions. Super-Earths are a class of planets that are larger than Earth but lighter than ice giants like Neptune and Uranus. They can be made of gas, rock, or even a combination of both, and their sizes can vary from two times the size of Earth to several times its mass. As for Proxima b, it is a super-Earth and an exoplanet, meaning that a planet orbits outside the nearby planetary group. The first possible evidence of an exoplanet was discovered in 1917, 
although it generated little interest. However, confirmation came in 1992 with the first confirmed discovery, which left scientists astounded. Another exoplanet, first recognized in 1988, was confirmed in 2003. As of April 1, 2024, there are 5,653 confirmed exoplanets in 4,161 planetary systems. Of these, 896 systems have more than one planet. These famous discoveries are surrounding an M-type star. To understand the M-type star, you need to learn about the red dwarf. A red dwarf is the smallest type of star in the main sequence, hence the name. In the interconnecting region of the Sun, red dwarfs are by far the most common type of star found in the Milky Way. They have incredibly low luminosity, and since luminosity is one of our main tools for planet detection, red dwarfs are not so easy to spot. These invisible stars have variable definitions and names depending on their temperatures and sizes. For instance, M dwarfs or M type main sequence stars yield a maximum temperature of around 3000 K, thus getting their name. As for Proxima b, its mass is known to be equivalent to 1.07 Earths. Interestingly, it only takes 11.2 days to complete one orbit around its star, compared to our 365.25 days. You can check the size of the star Proxima b is orbiting, amazingly under the evaluation of the entire electromagnetic spectrum. The star has a total luminosity of as little as around 1.6% that of the Sun. Additionally, in the visible light range, its luminosity seems to decrease more. It only shines 5-6% to of the Sun's brightness, emitting much less light energy compared to the Sun. Over 85% of its emitted energy is infrared radiation, circling around 0.045 to 0.056 Australian dollars from its star. Proxima B's discovery was reported back in 2016. You might ask why Proxima B, with its 1 million stars, planets, and galaxies, is of such focus. Well, there are a few reasons that add to the noticeable interest. Cosmologists have a particular fascination with Proxima B specifically. Proxima B is the closest known star to our Sun, and by definition, although 4.2 light years is a large number to us Earthlings, in the grand scheme of the universe, it is a mere blip. So why Proxima b, our closest known star, is high on the priority list right now, is important. It is part of the triple star system called Alpha Centauri. Additionally, despite Proxima's luminosity being very low, the system appears to be one of the brightest celestial bodies in the night sky, behind two others called Sirius and Copus. However, the most enchanting thing about Proxima Centauri b is that it could truly be habitable, as it falls within the habitable zone. The possibilities surrounding the star are endless, and thus, space experts have taken on the task of exploring the depths and limits of the star's true potential. That is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. The four primary goals of the JWST are to search for light from the first stars and galaxies that formed in the universe after the Big Bang, study the evolution of the universe, understand star and planet formation, and focus on planetary systems and the origins of life. As the JWST continues its assessment of this exoplanet, we draw nearer to the fulfillment of these missions, from searching for exoplanets to looking for extraterrestrial life. So, what exactly is said? One could ask. Considering that humans have always been a curious species, exploring and getting into literally everything that moves and doesn't move, it makes sense that a mission like SETI emerged on such a massive scale. Imagine that God has facilitated a phenomenal, colossal endeavor, but with a bit of gold, we are tasked with being on the lookout for signals, more specifically, electromagnetic murmurs from human civilizations beyond anything we could ever imagine. SETI, short for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, resembles the world's most high-stakes game of hide-and-seek, with us as the seeker and the vast universe as the seemingly endless hiding spot. It is one of those fields where specialists are like advanced Sherlock Holmes, tuned into radio waves and searching for that subtle, we-are-not-alone signal. This vast search began in the 1960s. Frank Drake, a prominent astrophysicist, was among the first to detect radio transmissions from the stars. It was a pivotal moment, yet no aliens showed up at his door. Now, as you might have guessed, searching for something this big takes patience and can span many years of work. Sometimes, very few conclusive extraterrestrial transmissions have been found. Despite these efforts, Excitement continues to grow as the James Webb Space Telescope continues to examine exoplanets like Proxima b. An entire field of hope is emerging. However, will we accidentally find solid proof of extraterrestrial life, 
or will we only experience strange transmissions just beyond our ability to comprehend, giving us more questions than answers? The discovery of lights, in fact, may just be the beginning. The discovery of lights, in fact, may just be the beginning of an entirely new chapter in human exploration and understanding. The implications of such a discovery are profound, as it could mark the first confirmed sign of extraterrestrial life. For many, this could be the ultimate answer to a question that has intrigued humanity for centuries. Are we truly alone in the universe? The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, has spanned decades, and with advances in technology like the James Webb Space Telescope, we are closer than ever to possibly receiving a signal that could change everything. As we delve deeper into the vastness of space, one thing is clear. Our understanding of the cosmos is constantly evolving. Every new discovery opens up more questions than answers, pushing us to expand our knowledge and explore even further. Proxima b, with its potential for life, is just one of many exoplanets that could hold the key to understanding our place in the universe. The search for life beyond Earth, fueled by cutting-edge technologies and the curiosity of scientists, has become one of the most exciting frontiers of modern science. Yet, despite our progress, the search for extraterrestrial life remains an enigma. While we may one day detect a signal or discover evidence of life on another planet, it's also possible that the answers we seek may remain elusive for a long time. The universe is vast, and the challenges of detecting life are immense. However, the possibility of finding life elsewhere remains one of the greatest quests of our time, one that could reshape humanity's understanding of its origins, purpose, and future. In the coming years, as the James Webb Space Telescope continues its mission, it will likely provide more answers, and even more questions, about the universe and our place within it. Whether we find definitive proof of extraterrestrial life or simply uncover more mysterious signals, one thing is certain. The pursuit of knowledge will continue to drive human exploration of the cosmos. And as we look to the stars, we are reminded of the limitless possibilities that await in the great expanse of space.